Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we have a math riddle here for you. Let's see if you can solve this riddle. A small number of cards has been lost from a complete pack. If I deal among four people, three cards remain. If I deal among three people, two remain. And if I deal among five people, two cards remain. How many cards are there? One thing we know about a deck of cards is that there are 52 cards in a deck. So our answer has, has to be between 0 and 52. We know that's going to be our final answer somewhere there. Okay. Now it's not going to be most likely zero. That would make uh, kind of no sense there. Uh, but it could be 52. We don't know. Let's make some equations here. Okay. So the first thing they tell us, they say, if I deal among four people, three cards remain. So if we had uh, four people, okay, if we're dealing cards, you know, we can make an equation here. That 4 represents the 4 people. We have the letter P represents how many times it goes around. You know, 1 time, 2 times, 3 times. You know, when you deal, you deal to all the people that are there at the table. 3 cards remain, and that's going to equal our number N that we want to find. The next one here says, if I deal among 3 people, 2 cards remain. Okay? So if they deal among three people, we have a new variable here for, let's call it Q, okay? But three people times how many times we deal around, two cards re remain, but we still have that final answer that we're looking for, which is N. The last clue they tell us here, that if I deal among five people, two cards remain again. So five people, we deal our number of times, and two cards remain, giving us our total number of cards that were out there. So what we want to find here is where all three of these equations line up. Now, we have different variables here. So what we want to do is just see all the possible solutions here uh, that can work. So we kind of just run through and see which ones line up. Okay, and this is fairly quick if you are pretty good at mental math. All right, so let's go with the first one. If P is zero, zero cards were dealt out, then N is equal to three. If P is one, we get a seven, and we're gonna keep going, we keep adding by four each time. Seven, 11. <laughs> And 51. We add another 4. We're beyond our standard deck of cards. Let's go with the next one here and I'm going to kind of space it out a little. Okay. The next list here, if Q is 0, then our first number is 2 and we're going to add 3 each time. 2, 5, and 50. And if we add uh, three more to that, we'll be at 53 outside of our uh, standard deck of cards, okay? And lastly, kind of went up a little high there. It's all good. Make it a little wavy. Let's go to our last one here, okay? If we deal out zero cards to ever the table, two will remain. And then we go by fives there. Two, seven. Okay, and now we've got the full deck. So what we're looking for here is which number is in all three sets, um, and that is 47. 47 is in the first set, 47 is in the second set, and 47 is in the third set. So my final answer here is really just 47, okay? So there are 47 cards in this modified deck, so much so that 
If we deal among four people, three cards will remain. If we deal among three people, two cards remain. And if we deal among five people, two cards will remain. So I hope you learned something here. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, press the like button down below. Smash that like button. Helps us keep making more videos like this. And again, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.